sensation is a highly elastic nylon fiber core surrounded by a protective outer sheath. These highly elastic fibers give you the comfort and the feel that you can't get with a poly, that you can't get with some of these other strings. So guys, I gotta be honest. I've been playing with poly for a few years now and I was a little bit worried to, to, to try something else. Like, was it gonna have enough spin? Was it gonna be able to flick those balls around? Was it gonna be too powerful? You know, was it gonna be able to hit out? And you know what? I couldn't have been more wrong about that, guys. This string has been incredible for the past couple of weeks and the performance has just blown me away. <laughs> Before I forget, I gotta announce the winner of our first giveaway. Congratulations, Oz Turk. He is, or she is, Oz Turk. You're the winner of the giveaway. Just email us so you can get your code. Stick around, you'll be able to see how you can get in on the next one. The, the main reason why I went with the 17 gauge is to get a little more grip, a little more grab on the ball. When you have a thinner string, the ball is gonna sink into the string a little bit deeper. Also with a thinner gauge, you're gonna get more feel, more comfort, more power, more elasticity, a little bit more everything. This string review is not to be confused with sensation control. Control has a, is, is a crisper feel and is a, is a liquid crystalline uh, outer sheath. It's a little bit different. So um, if you want me to review this one, please comment below and uh, we'll try this one next. So that brings me into tension. Okay. My normal setup on poly, I run about 43 pounds. So on this one, I went all the way up to 53 pounds. And that is a 23% increase. The reason you string low tension in poly is to kind of, is to get some elasticity back into it, get some feel back into it, and get some comfort back into it. Um, and on a multi-filament, because you have all those different fibers and strands, uh, and they're more elastic, uh, they're moving around, they're stretching a little bit more, so you can afford to go with a higher tension. Now, 53 pounds to me sounds like crazy high. It sounds like a, a stiff board or something. The best thing about multi-filament is that you can string up 
and you're not sacrificing the control. You're still getting the comfort, but you're retaining that control. So initial impressions, the first thing I felt out there, it is just plush to feel. It is pillowy soft. It still kind of has that muted feel where the ball just sinks into the bed, holds there, and it just naturally kind of releases. It doesn't like slingshot it, you know? the string out of the box, out of the package, uh, it, it has a very strong chemical smell to it, okay? Um, way stronger than some of these polys. Uh, next thing, this is a good thing, the, the sound of the string. It is definitely like a louder string. Now, it has more of like a high-pitched sound, as you can hear, and to me, it has kind of that old school sound. I think it has a nice sound to it. It's grown on me. Another thing that I, I was kind of new to me is that um, as the string wears a little bit and as that outer layer, the outer sheath kind of starts to break down and start to fray a little bit, it traps the, the felt and the fuzz from the tennis ball in the bed of your string. So the, the bed actually kind of turns green. So I, I really felt that the string had a balanced power profile to it and it wasn't overpowered. I was not launching balls. And that kind of brings me into the next step the launch angle. So when you're used to poly, poly is when, when a string grips more, snaps back even more, you get a higher launch angle off of it. So this has virtually no launch angle, no, no added launch angle. I thought that this string was, it, it would maybe fall off a cliff. You know, when I picked it back up, it would just play completely different or something like that. Um, it played the same every time that I play with it. I just didn't notice like really anything different about it. Maybe there was some fuzz on the bed, maybe it was moving around a little bit more, but it just had the same power, it had the same comfort, it had the same control, the same feel. Um, it just it had awesome playability. You know, I knew the string was gonna be comfortable, but it, it really is like, if you're used to, to playing a full bed of poly, which I am, um, you feel like you can just play for hours and hours and hours and just hit thousands of balls. You just, you feel fine. You don't feel that fatigue, you know, in the shoulder and in other parts of your body. Baby, you know the reason I love you. Maybe you know just how to turn. Guys, we're coming off of Ultra Cable, Poly Tour Pro, Hyper G. I know what's, what, what crazy spin and snapback feels like. This string still had an amazing spin. Hey, I had to keep the racket speed up to, to really get th those RPMs going. You don't, get, you don't get free spin from it necessarily. Um, I was taken aback by how much spin this string had. Um, it, for me, this whole thing was confidence inspiring, you know, like at first, I was a little skeptical about, about all this. Was it gonna have enough spin? Is it gonna have too much power? Is it just gonna break, you know, on, on the first or second session? So because I wasn't as worried about like, you know, off center hit or like getting jarred or hurting my arm or, or, or wrist or anything like that, I was able to just take a whack at that return and not worry about it. Because like if it hit the side of the bed or, or like on, on the edge or on the tip or whatever, it, it, it wasn't so jarring, you know, it, it, had, it had some give there. Um, this string actually inspired confidence, you know, that I, I was not thinking. So guys, I know we all wanna play with a full bed of poly, and we just want the maximum performance always, but you know what, maybe in the real world, we just play too much tennis, you know, maybe our arm hurts, or it's just a little hard on our bodies. Uh, maybe you're in an end of summer slump, or maybe you've been playing too much tennis, and maybe you just need a little break. And if you do, I highly recommend trying a multi-filament, trying Wilson Sensation. So by taking a break from the norm, by trying something new and different, you might just find your, your strokes. You might just find your game. You might just find the confidence to just take a big old whack at that return. And by trying something new, by trying a multi-filament, you might just find that you like it. Heck, 
you might even find that you love it. So that's all for the show. I'll see you guys next time. Until then, see you on the courts.